What's good, YouTube? This your boy, this your man, Lane Jackson, also known as Elite Kicks, hitting you guys up today. Get ready to hit the gym, do some legs. Just got done eating probably about 40 minutes ago. Had to let the food settle a little bit. Um, gonna do some legs, just show you guys a couple exercises, and then afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys how I prep my meals. A lot of you wanna know how I prep it all the way to the T. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to prep a couple meals. Um, it's basically showing you guys how I weigh it out, everything. So, yeah, that's going to be the main focus of this video. But today, get ready to hit the gym and uh, show you guys a couple exercises um, that I'm going to do today for legs. Nothing crazy. Um, the main focus for me right now is just building up my upper body. So, yes, it's important. It's very important to hit your legs, no matter what you're trying to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, we're going to hit them, and then we're going to get out. So, let's go ahead and get it. Squatting in them Jordan 1's. I like to do my leg workouts in my J's, man. My Jordan 1's, as you guys see, they are beat. So Jordan 1's. Also, I like to work out my SB's. Um, these mids. I like them because they're flat platform shoes. So they're good for, like, squats. So, yeah. I squat my Jordans. Most of y'all keep them in Tupperwares and shit. <laughs> I'm just joking. Ain't nothing wrong with that because I used to do it too. But I squat mine. You know what I'm saying? So I need to wash them. So let's go ahead and head out. All right, everyone. It's always cold as shit out here. <laughs> Yesterday was super windy, man. Uh, so yeah, I came, crank up my girl's car, went back to my car to get my gym bag. It's important to have that gym bag. It's like not having your wallet. You know how it feels? So yeah, uh, cranked her car up. She hasn't been driving her car much. All right, let me get this. All right. Yeah. So she hasn't been driving her car much, really. And she's concerned because the battery of the car act like it doesn't want to crank. But she works in Manhattan, so she doesn't drive her car rarely, like maybe on the weekends, you know? So I told her, I was like, look, man, like when you get off work, you just need to come crank it up, especially if it's about to get cold. You need to crank your car up and let it run for like five, 10 minutes and just cut it off. That way it keeps the battery charged up because cold weather, cold weather does drain your batteries. You know women, they don't care. They just want to get in their car and drive. They don't care about washing it, cleaning it. There's chicken nuggets and shit in between the seats. <laughs> so yeah, taking her car to the gym today. Um, and that's what we're going to do. Um, I know a lot of y'all probably they don't care. We're just ready to see you work out. We're ready to see what you're about to eat. So yeah, we're going to get to that right now. So. Let's go ahead and get to the gym. All right, everyone, just got to the gym. Doing some warm up cardio. Before any exercise, I highly recommend you do five to 10 minutes. Just warm it up, get the blood flowing, get the joints going, five to 10 minutes, and then stretch. Uh, my cardio choice today for warm up, since I'm hitting legs, Stairmaster. This is actually a great machine just to do for cardio, period. Helps keep your legs toned up and you burn body fat. Uh, so today, we're gonna do some leg press. We're gonna do some leg curls, line leg curls, seated leg curls, and some calf exercises. And that's it. So basically, four to five exercises, but we're gonna hit them hard, get a lot of sets, a lot of reps. Uh, so I'm just showing you guys a few clips for the exercises, maybe one of the sets I do. I'm not gonna do the full five sets or whatever. It's gonna take up too much time. But today, I'm aiming for about five sets, 15 to 20 reps on everything. With calves, probably 20 to 25 reps. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it.
everyone. Just got back from the gym. Just got done hitting legs. As you guys see, I did a few exercises on legs, but I did a lot of sets, a lot of reps. I just wanted to show you guys one set uh, of each exercise so you can got, kind of see what I was talking about. There's no use doing five sets and recorded five clips, you know what I'm saying? So I did about five, four to five sets on each exercise and the reps was high, 15 to 25 reps. Alright, um, so a lot of you have been asking can I do a video showing you how I prep my food for my day to day basis. So that's what I'm doing, that's the main purpose of this video, showing you how I prep my food. So I'm going to show you how simple this is guys, it's super simple, a 3 year old can do it. Okay, maybe not a 3 year old but you guys get where I'm going at with this, alright. So I'm going to show you everything I'm, I'm working with and I'm going to do it step by step, it's so simple. And when it comes to this stuff man, this, this right here is basic for a beginner, an advanced person, anybody. Now if you want to cook your foods, that's fine. I do it all the time, but since I'm on the go a lot between work and a little side gig I have, you know what I'm saying? Like I need to like prep fast and go. The most important thing is getting your food in, your meals in. Always being prepared, always having your meals. A lot of people, this is their lagging point, is not having enough food, you know what I'm saying? And if you're trying to grow muscle, get that beach body look, this is where it starts. Like you can work out all day, but if you don't, if you're not eating, you're just wasting your workouts. You're wasting your time. To be honest with you, it took me years to realize that. When I started eating better and eating more, I started growing. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the meal prep. So we have the basic layout. This is a great investment right here. Twenty dollars on Amazon. A scale. I weigh everything. Uh, I don't normally need to, but I'm just so OCD. I like to look at the number. So I weigh everything out. All right, I got my green beans, frozen green beans. Um, I got my chicken strips. You can use any protein you want, as long as it's lean. And then I decided to go with this brown rice or, or this long grain wild rice, just because simply due to the fact that I'm pushing for time today. I'm going out of town this weekend, so I didn't feel like boiling sweet potatoes or steaming rice. Uh, if you get this bag rice, it's good but try to get keep the sodium low. So the sodium on this one is pretty high, but I'm not gonna eat the whole bag, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna portion it. So we will go ahead, we're gonna start with the green beans. Now when I do my vegetables, basically I just pour a little bit in there. I don't, I don't normally weigh my vegetables because vegetables are considered like a free food. So you just pour a little bit in there like that. And yes, it's frozen because when you, when you heat it up in the microwave, it's gonna steam it. I leave the lids on. All right, that's it. All right, then you come to the scale. Turn your scale on, wait for it to zero out. Whatever container you're using, make sure you leave it on there because look, it zeroes it out. So this actually weighs, what, 12.9 ounces? But if you leave it on when you turn on, it zeroes it out. So we're gonna start with the, uh, the rice, all right? I want to go for about four to five ounces. So pour it in there. We're at three. All right, let's go four. All right, I'll go five. All right, a little over five. So, and yes, I wash my hands. <laughs> so yeah, take it out, you measure. You're gonna do that for both, all right? Or do it for however many meals you got, then you just Bam, pour it in there. That's simple, guys. It's that simple. All right, then you're going to go to your protein source. Do the exact same thing. Make sure you wash your damn hands, too. <laughs> All right, see how it's still reading, too, because there's a little bit of rice in there? So what you have to do is just hit the zero button, and it zeroes it back out. All right, so grab the chicken. Stick chicken in there. Yeah, five, and I always go six ounces when it comes to protein. So normally four to, four to five ounces carbs and six ounces protein. All right, so right at six. I normally put a little extra because it's frozen and when it thaws out, you lose, it weighs a little more because of water, so when it thaws out, and it's that simple, same thing. Pour right there. And all you gotta do, get it situated. lid on there you're good to go so you're gonna do all your meals like that it's easy as one two three it's that simple guys 
Uh, other than that, if you if you want to cook your food, that's great as well. I cook all the time. When I have time, I normally just cook my chicken up or whatever I'm using. But that's the fastest way to do it. And you know what? It feels good because you're keeping up with your, your nutrients. You're keeping up getting your meals in. And you're not skipping meals. People have the tendency to skip meals just because they don't have the time to prepare them. But if you do something simple as this, and this is cheap. If you go back and watch my last one of my older videos, probably about, go back probably about two or three weeks ago, I did a video of how you can eat good for like $50. All this food you can get for $50. Go back, watch that video, and this is like a great map. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for taking up too much time. Make sure you rate, subscribe, comment. More videos like this on the way. I'm about to finish this, take a shower, actually eat, and get ready to head on for my day. Other than that, peace.